thought this would be a great subject for a video. I it seems like the same guy may have called me on this car that called me on my last one. And, uh, you know, a lot of people have this idea in their head how much a car is worth. And so what I decided to do real quick is I'm going to run through. And we're going to talk about what the value of this car is and how you can maybe determine the value of yours and figure out which one, you know, what's a good deal and what isn't a good deal and what's something worth and what it isn't worth and uh, come up with a value. First of all, you got to know how much does it cost to buy a project sunroof bug. And some people will think that a sunroof should be the same price as a regular car. And for some reason, the projects tend to sell a little bit higher than the uh, than the than the uh, regular hardtop bug, and also uh, when you build the car, it costs more to build one. So I'm going to talk to you guys about you know let's go by piece by piece and talk about what it costs. So anyway, engine in this car is rebuilt. So. I'm asking eleven thousand dollars. I'm not going to take any less. Or eleven, eleven five. I'm not going to take a penny less. I'll get, I'll get it. And I got, I got that for the last car I sold that was in the same condition. So, what does it cost to rebuild an engine? Uh, a re, an engine, a rebuilt engine, costs. You know. So let's just say. You went down and you said, hey, went down to the shop and that's, you took the engine out yourself and you had them rebuild it. How much would that cost today? And the answer is, I don't see, I don't think I've ever seen an engine that got rebuilt, completely rebuilt with new pistons and cylinders and bearings and crankshaft grinding and all that stuff. Uh, and that's, we're talking about an out of the car engine for about 1200 bucks. Now, if you add that this one has a brand new alternator and you have a, this is a brand new distributor pointless distributor adds a you know a couple hundred dollars under that so let's say and plus this 12 volt has a brand new coil let's say you add up all those things you know fifteen hundred dollars then that's just basically no labor cost so and and the other thing let's let's think about how much does it cost for the actual project car When's the last time you saw a sunroof VW for sale as a project that was complete? And how much would you be willing to pay for it? You know, um, I've seen sunroof cars, uh, you know, for sale that are projects for a couple grand, you know. And that's if it has a, if it didn't have an engine. You know, a lot of times if they have, I'm, I'm talking about a complete car. So let's say you tried to find one. And is it going to have good bumpers? Is it going to have the original tail lights? Is it going to have uh, all the original glass, you know, and, and all the parts? Is it, is it, does it have one piece windows that you have to replace and put the original ones back in? Those are all things that you need to do to figure out how much it costs to build it. So, person calls me and says, hey, that car is not worth 11 grand. I just, I already know. They're crazy. They don't understand what it costs to build one of these. So let's just kind of go over the details of what it costs. You know, that's, that's what I'm trying to do here just to help you guys that, you know, either you're looking for one of these to build or you're going to buy one already built. It actually is cheaper in this case to buy the car already done. So the transmission, it's been rebuilt. It's in this car. I got it. Fortunately, when I bought the car, the trans was already brand new that was in it. And I know that because it had all uh, nylock nuts on it and it was painted. So that's kind of the way that I figured that out. Um, and how much does it cost to have a rebuilt transmission put in your car? So if you're lucky, you find one, a project that has a good trans in it. Let's say you don't. You're probably talking about 500 bucks. And that's an out of the car. You take it out, you take it down, have it rebuilt, put it back in. 500 bucks. So... The other things are, what about missing parts? So when you go and you get your project, you know, what if the seat frames are junk that are in it? You know, what about, you know, repair panels for the floor? If it's a sunroof car, you're going to have to buy those. 
for sure. You know, almost always have repairs in the floor. Uh, what about the sunroof cables and, and all the parts? You know, typically I spend about $400 on parts to fix the sunroof on these. And that's no kidding. And that's, and that's because usually the handle's gone. And this one happens to be an original handle. Uh, new cables. Um, you know, the plastic parts up in there. And half the time I have to find uh, the, what they call the veins. Underneath here, there's metal lines. In the early ones, they didn't have metal lines. They had plastic. In the plastic ones, you know, tend to fail and not work right. So you end up having to either put new veins in it and they're really hard to find and they're really expensive used parts. So you can't buy them new. So your door rubber and you know the door kits for all the for all the doors, the window rubber, you know, all the little things like running boards. You know, running boards back when I was young, running boards were like 15 bucks for a pair. You know, now you're talking about 60 at least, and that's for cheap ones. Uh, if it has Wolfsburg West ones, those are a couple hundred dollars. So, you know, all this stuff's gone up in price. Um, even things like these little rubber pieces here. Uh, the fender beading. The rubber here. How much does that stuff cost? You know, it all adds up. You'd be surprised how quick you get into a couple of grand. Um and that's not including the upholstery. So let's just say you go out and you get the deal on the upholstery, another 500 bucks, all right? So you can kind of add this up. You got $1,200 in, uh, in fact, I'll do this for you. I'll write it all down. Let's say you got 1,200 bucks in, uh, in the motor rebuilt, $500 in the trans, what do your brake parts cost? A couple, two or three hundred dollars in brake parts. Um, then you're probably looking at uh, the front end getting fixed and rebuilt. You know, a lot of times the tie rod ends are loose and stuff like that. That's all got to be right. So this car's got all new front end stuff. Um, you know, in a lot of stuff you had to have have done at places. Let's say you took the front end and had it rebuilt. I don't know how much that costs, you know, that would probably cost you 300, 400 bucks to have that whole front end rebuilt. If you, that's if you took the front end out and you took it into a place, had it rebuilt and put it back in yourself, you know, um, your, your upholstery costs just for the, just for the cost of the upholstery, all this little trim stuff, if it's gone missing or, or in bad condition, um, for the dash, you know, I had to replace all that in this car. Um, Let's look under the hood. Hud, new, brand new hubcaps. What do they cost? Let's see if we can find those for less than a hundred bucks for a set. You know, if you buy the Bullsburg West ones, those are like two hundred dollars a piece almost. With by the time you pay the tax and everything else. Um, and under the hood, you know, I got an original bias supply spare. We're gonna find one of those at a swap meet. How many times you're gonna to have to go to a swap meet to find one of those and find one that's clean and nice that looks like that? Um, you know, what if the gas gas tank and you go to work on it, the gas tank's got holes in it, you have to replace it. You don't know. You know, these are all things that you have when you get a project and you build it. Um, the wiring, this one just happened to be intact, you know, but it did need a lot of repair to it. The front harness was pretty much gone to the headlights. Uh, so that part had to be replaced and it's all done with correct colors. It's all done with yellow and and uh, and white like it was originally um, Let's just kind of figure all those things you add your hood rubber, you know all this little stuff here It's not expensive, but it all adds up and what happens is you know it it builds up and you know and for the whole cost of the project, so let's say you got three grand in the car, you got twelve hundred a motor, six hundred in the trans, and there are two hundred brakes. You got, you know, two or three hundred dollars in interior, interior, a couple grand in miscellaneous. Now you're into the thing. What, six grand? You haven't even got paint on it yet. You know how much is a good paint job, and how much does it cost to assemble a car? You know, um, yeah. 
what determines value of the whole car? You know, so guy goes, well, it's not original paint, not the original color. It's not, it doesn't have original color upholstery. You know, those are all pluses. But when it comes to actual value of the car, you got to think about what it costs to build it. And that's what I'm trying to get to is when you look at a car and it's old and it doesn't have new stuff on it and it needs to have work done, it needs to have paint and upholstery done, you know, and, and it needs all these things and it's they're not in the greatest condition, you know. If you don't know how much that stuff costs, you don't really know if you're getting a good deal or not. Something like this is a fantastic deal, you know, um, because it's all done and it's all done nice you know so when I get a call from a guy like that I just you know I just brush it off you know I don't really care this guy's not gonna get the car even if he did even if, if, if the guy called me again and says no nah, you know what you're right yeah that is a pretty good deal um, you know I'm gonna tell him that's okay it's not for sale you know what I can sell it to somebody else I'm not worried about it I don't need the money that's the difference between me and some other people you know, other guys need the money, and I don't. I don't need the money. Money's not a big deal. You know, eleven grand for this thing isn't gonna isn't gonna change my life at all. So, anyway, I just do it for the principle more than anything. It's a great car. It's worth every bit of what I'm asking for it, and it'll get. I'll get my price. I always do. So anyway, but that's a little bit about how value is created in the car and how you can kind of determine how much something costs. If you add up all of the things that I've done to this car, um, I was going to do it on paper, uh, but it, I don't know, it, it would be kind of hard for me to do because I'm going to leave something out. I know I will because, you know, I can't remember that the, the, until I'm looking at the car, I can't remember that the sunroof cost me about $400 in parts to replace, to make it work. Um, I don't remember that the floor pans, you know, pieces were, you know, whatever, 200 bucks. For parts to replace I don't you know I don't always remember all the stuff and then I kind of kind of have to remember all the repairs that I've done to the car and uh, you know and all that stuff you know then then you kind of add it all up and it's always way more than what you think you start out you think oh wow I can build a car for you know you know I can buy it for tw three three grand and and I can have it built and have it all done for for seven but honestly you're gonna be in it probably more than when I'm in this thing, you know, especially if, even if you took it to a paint job, you know, I mean, how much does a good paint job cost? How much would a paint job even just like this cost you? First of all, it would have to be all stripped down. You have to take everything out of the car, completely take it all down to nothing. The car has to be stripped to bare metal. That's what was done to this car. And then uh, go through and prime the whole car and paint it. I mean, how, how much would that cost in a body shop? You know, I'm asking you guys, Put some comments down there. Let me know. You know, out here, uh, a paint job like this, you know, even like this one, I, I there's not a place I know of that you could get it done for less than four grand. I mean, that would be, you know, some cheap backyard guy that would have a thing for a year. And then, you know, you buy the project and you think, you know, you're going to be you're going to you're going to have this thing done in in 6 months and you find out you're going to have it 5 years and the whole time you're not driving it so you buy one like this it's already done so those are things that you should pay a premium for not something you should get for less because you know you're trying to take advantage of somebody you're not going to take advantage of me you know that's the way I am so anyway I just thought I'd kick this out there make a little video on this subject and talk to you guys who were you know uh, who have talked to people, the cheap Charlies out there who think stuff's worth, you know, because they just have a value in their head. You know, they don't really know how much stuff costs to build. They saw, you know, back back in 1965, that car was only $2,000 brand new, 1995 or whatever. It's like, dude, go back to 1965 and buy one and then hold on to it for how many years and, and and keep it for all these years in your garage and, and in your space and everything else and then think that it's okay to get rid of it for eleven thousand dollars you're gonna go fuck no i had to pay storage it went to storage yards it'll cost you more than that to keep the car that long <laughs> 
it's just where do these guys come up with these values i don't know you know i don't know where people think that stuff's going to be worth you know that's it's going to be I, I don't know you know oh yeah I, back in the day i got my car painted in a real shine and it cost me you know 150 dollars well now today it's not 150 bucks and this is not an Earl Shy paint job and it's not Earl Shy paint and it's not pri and it, it's got primer on it Earl Shy didn't do any of those things you know uh it's just weird how people can't connect to what things should be and how much stuff costs so anyway i just thought i'd make a video on this subject and uh see what kind of comments we get on it and uh you guys think honestly do you think this car's worth less than 11 grand with a sunroof keep that in mind it does have a sunroof that is a it's a thousand dollars at least on the price alone when i've gone to, to buy to look at them to, to ones that are already sold um, they sell for a thousand dollars more than a regular hardtop car that's just the you know and, and that's if it works if it doesn't work yeah it might sell for the same price but if it works nah no nah, never seen it anyway i just thought i'd kick this out there um keep watching we'll make some cool new videos uh but uh thought i'd make this video talk to you in the next video please like share and subscribe